Okay, good morning or good evening, depending on which class you are. Uh, lesson seven is going to be another recap of what we've done last week. So dividing with fractions, um, dividing with whole numbers and fractions, and also dividing a fraction by a fraction. There's all kinds of good stuff going on, so mix numbers. And anyway, we'll get going. So you guys need to be on page 58 in your book, page 58, and we will get her going. In the previous lesson, you learned what dividing by fractions means. In this lesson, you will divide with fractions to solve problems. Take a look at this problem. Charlie is growing vegetables and planters. He has four bags of soil and uses two-thirds of a bag of soil to fill each planter. How many planters can he fill? A. Think of the number of planters that Charlie can fill as how many two-thirds are in four. Will that number be greater than or less than four and explain why? Well, we've done a few of these problems already. So if you look at two-thirds, is two-thirds greater than, equal to, or less than one? It's less than one, so um, anytime you're dividing a whole number by a fraction that's less than one, you're going to get more out of it. So it's going to be greater, greater, and just exactly what I said. When you, I know this is texting, um, lingo there with the U, but you guys get it. When you divide a number, that's an A, by a number less than, there's the less than symbol, by a number less than one, the answer will be greater. Okay? Moving on from here. B. The model below represents the four bags of soil. Draw horizontal lines to divide each bag into thirds. Okay? So let's split these up into thirds. There's three parts to each one. Now, we need to go through and circle and count the groups of two-thirds to represent this problem. So we need to circle one-third, two-thirds, another two-thirds, another two-thirds, and another two-thirds. Do not forget about the two-thirds on the bottoms of each one. So you need to go through and count how many two-thirds there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many did you circle? We circled six. So why do you circle groups of two-thirds to represent this problem? Well, each planner, each planter holds two thirds, I'm sorry, holds two thirds of a bag. Two thirds bag. bag of soil So each circled group fills one 
planter. Okay, how many planters can Charlie fill? He can fill six. And G, explain how the model helps you solve the problem. Well, you just make this simple. Okay, don't make it hard. Make this simple. When you're explaining something, keep it simple. Okay, some of you guys know what this stands for. Okay, for the sake of school, we're going to get rid of that. So it's the, we're going to call it the KISS method. If you ever hear me say that, it's just keep it simple. Okay. So you can count. Count the groups of two-thirds that you did. Okay, that's how the model helps you. You just counted the groups of two-thirds. Piece of cake. So now at the top of page 59. When you find the number of two-thirds that are in four, you were dividing. You were solving the problem four divided by two-thirds. You can solve this problem by multiplying. You know that multiplication and division are related. It's like you and your cousin. You're related. Four divided by two is the same as one half of four or multiplying by four. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Or multiplying four by one half. You guys already know how to do all this stuff, which is um, leave, change, flip. Okay? You're multiplying by the reciprocal of... Um, the fraction. So it says that right there. We see this. It's a multiplicative inverse, which is also called the reciprocal. So leave, change, flip is technically leave, change, multiply it by the reciprocal. Okay. Now, um, number one. Explain how you can solve the division problem by using multiplication. Well, dividing by two-thirds, that's dividing by two-thirds, is the same, is the same as multiplying by three-halves. That's the reciprocal of two-thirds. Okay. Then if you do six divided by two-thirds, six divided by two-thirds turns into, I'm going to put that there so you can see the change, turns into six times three-halves. That's going to be 18 over 2 which is 9. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay?